money, 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 money. Woo, money. Let's talk cost. Let's talk how much it costs. My last trip to Cape Town, um, people have been asking the close friends of mine, like, how much that should we budget for that kind of trip? How much does it cost? So yeah, there are, there's different like range depending on what kind of activities you wanna do, um, where do you wanna stay, closer to the beach, closer, far away from the beach, things like that. So, but I'm gonna be telling you about my cost, the cost of the last trip that. The video, if you haven't seen that video, the video is, uh, is on my channel. Go check it out. I'll put the link uh, or here, here, somewhere there. How many money I got? A lot. How many passport I got? A lot. How many cars I got? A lot. Look, it's more than big chains, it's more than big watches, it's more than nice things. Yeah, it's more than big cribs, it's more than nice whips. We still want those things on. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll, let the real one show Let the real one show Let the real one show, man, let's have it all Let the good times roll Let the good times roll, let the real one show Let the real one show Let the real one show, man, let's have it all Let the good times roll Let the good times roll, let the real one show Let the real one show Let me start right Thank you very much for watching me for watching youtube i really appreciate it kenya i see you number one number two south africa america number three i really appreciate everyone those watching i saw the small and the numbers as well from india from wherever i really appreciate everyone uh, majority of you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button put a notification on i'm going to be put, posting video every week from now on and my vlogs are going to be structured they're going to be beautiful they're going to look like it's a whole netflix thing anyway so yeah like this video please uh share with your friend leave a comment talk to me talk to me about the cost ask anything talk where do you want to see me next i can go anywhere like really i really can go anywhere um doesn't matter as long as my passport says yes i'm saying yes i really appreciate everyone so let's talk numbers first thing first obviously from here to uh, Cape Town, we, we, we took a flight. It was two of us, uh, me and my son, or my son and I, that's the right English, I guess. Um, but before we start, you know, first espresso. Okay, we're not having espresso, we're having green tea today, we're being healthy. Anyway, the flight for both of us, a return flight from Bloemfontein to Cape Town, um, it was 45 minutes a flight. Uh, it cost about four thousand nine hundred and and nine. Yeah, four thousand nine hundred and nine for a flight in rents. Um, now put how much it costs in dollars. Um, so that's how much it costs for a return flight. Yeah, it was. It was I don't think it was expensive. I don't know. Maybe it was. I have no idea. Uh, so I booked via. Usually I would use a flight center, but this time I decided to use. Uh, to book it via my bank i bank with discovery so they, they do all those fancy things cost and whatever so that's how much it costs for a flight four thousand and nine hundred and nine and in the flight obviously you still have to buy things like snacks you see um but yeah it was straightforward i'll only sit in a lounge in cape town which uh, has a full thing only because of my bank a bank with discovery so you have access to the uh, south african airways um, lounge or it's used also by it's like a business lounge we have food there you have everything internet you have everything in there uh, it's for free for uh, discovery customers i'm not promoting discovery uh, i'm just telling you things like this uh, makes traveling easy so you you end up committing yourself to certain things because it makes traveling easy, especially if you're a traveler like me. Um, so second things, we landed in Cape Town and when we land, uh, we needed a car. I didn't want to order Uber and those things to do activities. So I decided to rent a car. Um, I used Enterprise. Now Enterprise, I became a member when I was in the state. So I have points there. So the points... Uh, add towards my the payment or they subtract towards my payment and for the car um it was three thousand six hundred and ninety five rands and but that was plus 
a thousand that includes a thousand rand for protection now when i booked it that thousand no one said anything about it until that's what usually happens uh you only they only tell you when you get there and it's an option they said no you can decide not to take it or you can take it but if anything happens to the car uh we're gonna take twenty thousand from you and you think about it and like you know what you never know what's gonna happen it might not be your fault it might be someone else you might your car might just be parked there and something happened to it so i decided i'll take the protection which was a full protection so that's why a thousand rand so that three thousand um six hundred and ninety five includes the thousand for protection that was car for the whole week for three days yes for three days four three days three days yes i'm right and uh, so for everything oh and it was unlimited mileage i always get unlimited mileage because i'm a member of enterprise um like i said being a member of such things helps really does help uh so yeah it was unlimited i could go anywhere it doesn't matter the only time that i had to pay anything i would say is extra for the car which you already know when you rent a car is that you take it full and you have to return it full if you don't return it full they will take from the deposit and i did um fill it up before taking it back which they it cost me uh four thousand four no not four thousand i'm lying i'm lying four hundred and ninety rand four hundred and ninety rand that's only how much it cost me for the fuel when i returned the car but the whole time i didn't have to i was i was just driving the whole time really i drove from uh, the airport obviously to seapoint from seapoint to stalembosch stalembosch uh hope bay hope bay um was that simon sound from simon sound to the uh the tip of africa a uh, cape point and back obviously and so yeah i only had to pay for the for fuel petrol gas i only had to pay uh 490 which I think is good, really, I think it's good. It was a small car, I love the car. And uh, so the second cost, obviously when we land, you take the car, we drive to the hotel. We, to, uh, we stayed in two hotels there, um, two days, two nights each. Um, first was in Cape, uh, no, Sea Point, rather, not Cape. Sea Point um, in Bentry's Bay. The hotel was something on Bentry's Bay. I remember the name, I'll put it uh, somewhere. So that hotel, the first hotel, um, cost about where is the hotel? My bad, guys. It was 5,490. Now it was like a one bedroom hotel with a king size bed, um, a lounge. A lounge is like open plan with the kitchen and they have TV in there um, with a view there, like the mountain view, and you also can see the sea from the distance. Um, what else is there? They had two. Um, um, toilets or restrooms they had two of them there was like the one for the lounge area and I think they do have shower there no there was no shower the shower was only in the bath the, the bathroom in the bedroom so yeah it was nice it was quite nice if you're going for a romantic what you call you can go for that I was with my son, with my son so also it was good for us because we had that um, we could have went smaller if we wanted to but we wanted to have that kind of view wake up to that kind of view see all that be like walking distance to the ocean and uh, so now that's why we paid that much um but there's there are cheaper things so when you go f a bit further from uh this the, the ocean or the beach area you know um so yeah that's how much it costs for the first hotel and then let me talk before i go anywhere else let me talk about the second hotel the second hotel was in simon's town uh, which is like about 45 minutes drive from sea point to simon's town and now while we stayed in simon's town because of the the penguins my son wanted to see the penguins i wanted to see the penguins and also it was closer to the sea point to see the the, the where the two ocean meets and everything and so that hotel was much cheaper so simon's town looks very cheaper because we actually now the view was even much more better to be honest the hotel or uh, the the b and b was not as modern as the hotel we stayed in but i love it i would stay in that place because i would stay there so it had a small kitchenette as well it had an area where you can eat a uh, queen size bed um tv which was bigger than the other one um better view in my opinion it had a huge balcony um what else was there yeah it had the, we had a garage we still had a garage with the first one um yeah it was good anyway for that one we paid 2525 for two nights 
I think was good for two nights, 525. Five, uh, no, 2525 it was good. It was a good price. I, I don't, I, like I think it was a good price. And I, next time when I go to Cape Town, I'm really not staying in the city. And like in the city, city, the heart or the downtown area, I'm not staying there. I'm going to Simon's Town, some places like that, because I still had an ocean view and I could drive to other places. I've been to the waterfront. And that's why our activities were a bit different this time because We've been to Cape Town a couple of times before. We just wanted to see certain things that we've never seen before. So, um, yeah, I didn't have to go to the Table Mountain this time. I didn't have to go to Robin Island. Uh, I will always go to Waterfront. It doesn't matter how many times I go there. I mean, I need to go to Waterfront for good food. Whatever, I like the vibe there. And, yeah, so that's how much it costs for the second hotel. Um, now, for all this, before other activities, just this, just this, um, the total is at 17,143. That's before activities. This is just the car, the two hotels, and the flights. That was, that, so the, our price is sitting at 17,143. Um, that's like our subtotal, I would say that. Now, let's talk about activities that we did. I can't name all of them because some of them maybe I might have forgot. Um, the beach. Now there's a uh, the penguin beach in Simon's Town that we had to pay because you know they're preserving the stuff and whatever. It was a nice beach where you can go under the rocks to the other side, and we went that side and saw uh, people naked for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know why people were naked, but people were naked, man. Um, so yeah, it was like some sort of you. There's a beach area, but you can go under the rocks, and the other side is like a, some sort of secret. Uh, beach, if I can say that, it's not really secret, but it was like some sort of secret. And you still, you swim and you see penguins are just here, and it was beautiful, it was nice. When we went there, I don't have footage for that because um, my GoPro went off, like died, like completely gone, and my phone was off. So yeah, one thing when we're having fun, these things happen. But I've learned, I've learned a couple of times now. I know what to do. I'm more prepared. And uh, my video was like I said, I'm gonna, they're gonna be more structured. And uh, let's talk about. Cape Point. Cape Point is like, um, they call it the Table Mountain National Park. It's where the two ocean meets, the Cape Point and the, uh, what's the other area there? The where the two ocean restaurant is, you know, those areas where you hike and the lighthouse and all that. Uh, so we only paid to enter there with a the car. We only paid um, 100 rand. Yes, because I'm a citizen. I know it's a bit higher for non-citizens. Just a slightly, it's not that much, it's really slightly higher. But for citizens of South Africa, it's 100 rand. It, the same thing with the, the beach we went to first. It's the same thing. There's a price for foreigners and there's a price for not foreigners, international visitors. Let me say it right. They are foreigners, but I can't say that. I don't want to say that. And then, yeah, so that's how much it costs for the Cape Point. And, uh, and then at Two Ocean Restaurant, we didn't really do much, but we ate, I think we. I, I bought food only for my son and some drinks for us because I saw the prices like things were around five hundred dollars a uh, rent rather five hundred rent and some stuff with like thousand I'm like the price was crazy in my opinion. So that was about um two hundred and thirty five actually exact because I did calculate it. Two hundred but we ate at a couple of places man. We we had fun, we bought food for our like when we were to cook, I cooked Wako Bega, um, there's a video if you want to see that. Uh, what else did we do? Um, we went to rock, Hard Rock Cafe to eat, or, you know, we went things like that. So we ate a couple of things here. So plus or minus, including that 17,143, uh, um, I would say we spent around 20,000 for the Cape Town trip. Uh, that's roughly the including the food and all the things. So the budget was around uh, twenty thousand. Uh, if I were to say in dollars, it's uh, one thousand uh, and forty three dollars. One thousand and forty three dollars. Uh, that's how much it cost for that trip. It was an amazing trip. I loved it, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, me talking about the cost breakdown, even showing you some of the stuff. Please do comment down below in the comment sections. Say something. Talk to me. Let's have a conversation. Let's communicate. You know, I'm gonna travel more. Um, in the books now, we're going to Kenya because Kenya is number one in my viewership. Come on, guys, share my videos with your friends. I really appreciate everyone. I love you all. Uh, thank you.